there's a discussion in one of his one of his letters that address the topic of teaching Torah to non-Jews. Is it appropriate? When is it appropriate? How is it appropriate? And so the Rambam writes that one is allowed to teach the Christians Torah, but should refrain from teaching Muslims. And so that seems to contradict everything that he's sort of said until now. What we said until now is that Islam is monotheistic, Islam is, is very in sync with Judaism, and, and Christianity has a more, uh, a, a, a more diverse view of God than, than Judaism does. But over here we're saying that if you're teaching, you should teach the Christians and, and not as much with the, with the Muslims. At the end of the day, the reason is, is that Islam and Christianity, according to the sages, are, are seen as uh, uh, sort of breakaway faiths that each contain within them half the truth of the Torah. Meaning Islam has a very clear view of God, but rejects the divinity of the Torah. Whereas Christianity has a very clear uh, acceptance of the divinity of the Torah, but has a, a, a different view of, of God and the Godhead. The Trinity is, is antithetical to, to Jewish thought. So, where does it all fit in God's plan? Why, you know, if we look at the sheer numbers of the world, Christi- Christianity is in the billions. Islam is in the billions. Why, why did God sort of have these faiths spring up? How does it fit in the, in the overall divine picture of, of, where, they're, of where we're heading and where, what's, what's, what's doing? So the Rambam, Maimonides, actually says a, something very fascinating. He says that, God allowed Christianity and Islam to take hold in the world to spread the basic concepts of Torah to the nations of the world. Meaning before Christianity, it was all paganism. It was either Jews who were monotheistic or the vast majority who were complete uh, pagans, not only worshipping idols, but again, engaged in the most depraved practices that the planet has ever seen as part of their mainstream belief. When Christianity and Islam came to the scene both eliminated the depraved pagan behaviors that were going on before and introduced the world to a a version of God and Torah values. So all of this this explains the Rambam is ultimately to prepare the world for the Messiah and the Messianic era when it comes, meaning that whatever bits of truth, whatever bits of Torah have been spread worldwide through these major faith systems, it paves the way that when Mashiach will come, the Messianic era will come, that the rest of the world will have already been familiarized with certain basic tenets, certain basic concepts. Rabbi Yaakov Emden also says in his commentary to Perkei Avos, says that the Christians and the Muslims are key instruments in fulfilling the prophecy that when, Messiah, when the Messiah will come, that the knowledge of God will be spread through the earth as the water covers the seabed. 